of choice in Eugene, Oregon, which is a very fancy grocery store. And it's fancy because we also have Bike Fridays here. And Mike Bennett from Bike Friday is going to tell us why and what. Hi, Lynette. Yeah, yeah this is a local green grocer here in Eugene, Oregon. They're, they're, they do a really terrific job uh, providing organic type groceries. They have nice covered bike parking as well. And so the cyclists really enjoy that. But some 30,000 people pass through these registers every single just a whole nother market for us. The average IBD sees a fraction of that number in a week and so our idea was to put this bike into a market where more faces would see it. They can then take a little flyer like this which directs them to the, lo to the local IBD like Hutch is here in town. Lynn's with us today from Hutch's. Let's take it away, Lynn. Lynn from Hutch's, one of the most East established bike shops in Eugene. Is that yep, correct? We've been here since 1927 and uh -huh. we are teaming up with Bike Friday and Mark the Choice to kind of set ourselves apart from the rest of the bike businesses in town. Uh, bike Friday is uh, totally different from anybody else's bikes that you'd be able to sell, but they can almost fill any need you have. So if you're a touring person or a racing person or a commuter, if you travel or don't travel, they've got a bike that'll suit anybody's needs. Wow, he really gets it, doesn't he? he doesn't <laughs> so he's a perfect partner for this? Exactly. So, so how is Lynn and uh, Bike Friday and PC working together as a, as a, as right. a trio? How as I was describing, some 30,000 people come through these markets each day. And the idea was people would see this somewhat of what we call a silent salesperson. This backdrop really tells a story about how this bike is used and can uh, change the lives of people and they get them out of that car and putting fewer hydrocarbons in the air by by utilizing a bicycle or we hope a Bike Friday ticket. So they come to the market and they pull one of these trifolds like you see. It directs them to a great retailer like Len over at Hutch's. When they go there they're going to get a free shopping bag, $50 value, Oh, that's a nice bag. It comes a backpack too, which is really cool. Oh. It comes on and off really easily. Oh, that's too cool. It has yeah. a nice rubberized bottom. Detours, uh, up based out of Portland, provides these for us, and it's a really a terrific so little bag. It just fits on the rack like that. It just yeah. drops right on. Uh, so you can imagine getting here at the market and closing this bike, making it ready to walk through the market. Okay. Picture it with the front rack on there, like this bike has, oh, and the shopping bag. And you can just wander through the store and throw your groceries right right in. You don't have to leave it outside and worry about it being rained on or stolen, worse yet. All right, so it's a shopping cart bicycle all in one. Exactly. If you do 20 minute ride a day, it really adds up to a lot of fitness rather than sitting in your car for 10 minutes. With the bicycle, you can just wheel right up to the front, jump off, lock it up out front in their covered parking or bring it in with you and carry it through the store with you. So either way, this bike, you know, makes life a lot easier. When you get to work, you can store it on inside rather than leaving it outside where it might get stolen. And they're fun to ride, and that's what I fell in love with it. I got an express ticket. It was the funnest bike I've had. I've been doing this for 26 years. Wow, now this van sells carbon fiber and, and all kinds of stuff, right? You got, got the fancy. I got a, a $7,000 bike sitting back there, and my express ticket is as much fun or if not more fun. So this is actually the corporate ID. If you look at Market of Choice, when you see their ads, uh, their corporate ID is all about being a green grocer and such. These are just little pairs on here. In fact, there's the pair. They have yeah. an identical copy of this bike for the, at their Thanks. headquarters, which they ride to and from the headquarters to get packaging and stuff that is going to be run in the ad for each week, and they pedal it back, take the pictures they need for the ad work, and then bring it, pedal it back here, and put it back in, on the shelves in the market.
very patriotic ticket uh, display here. Red, white, blue, and we're in hutches. What are the ingredients of a great bike shop? Are you going to tell us and show us around a little bit? Sure. What's well, the, the main thing is just a passion for bicycles. If you're going to sell something, you better be passionate about it. So there's not a single model in here that wouldn't be something that I would want to have for myself. We have, Including these? Including those. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a lot of those. I have three girls, and they all went through bikes just like that. So uh, right now they're a little bit older, and they're graduating on to Bike Fridays and really? other bikes. Really? That's fabulous. Uh, and they'll grow into them, too. That, they'll, they'll never outgrow it. That's <laughs> the great thing about it. So it's a bike that she can keep forever. Show us around your shop. Show us uh, sure. what makes a great bike shop. we got most of our kind of entry-level mountain bikes here. Out of the high-end full suspension bikes over there. Uh, we have a carousel of kind of entry-level road bikes up there, and then in the back room we have a uh, floor full of carbon fiber and uh, exotic type bikes back there. Right at the back so they don't intimidate people at the front door, is that right? Yeah, they make we've, had people, we, <laughs> we've had people walk in and walk out, even sometimes when they see 300 bucks, they walk in and walk out. So. All right, so you've got the huffies <laughs> at the front. Okay. Well, Excellent. that's why we have the, you know, the, the bikes over at the Market of Choice, so we could... Uh, get people that would be intimidated walking through here. This There's is a uh, famous Burley trailer which was designed by the Bike Friday co-founders. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Alan Hans Schultz. For people that have old-fashioned bikes that you can't fold up and put into the trunk of your car, you need to get one of these for the top of your car and then lift them up there. Right. So again, you can see the Bike Fridays are the leading technology for moving around the world. So you can see Len is obviously not anti-car, he's just no. making it work for everybody. Yeah, you can't, you know, cars are going to be here no matter what. There's, uh, the more bikes we get out, the better it's going to be for everybody, I think. I always enjoyed the, the old vintage stuff that Hutchins has in it. Soapbox Derby that Bill Hutchinson made in the 30s, he took a log and burned it out and hollowed it out by hand and uh, made a Soapbox Derby on it. I have a friend that runs an IndyCar race, and he said that that probably should be in the Smithsonian. He said he's in his 50 years of being around race cars, and he's never seen anything like that. So, Lynn, do you have any uh, messages to other bike shop owners and dealers about, you know, who are considering this kind of thing? Sure. The, Al the alternative advertising is really the only way to go. If you get put in a newspaper or radio, you're just going to get lost within the mass of other businesses that are bigger than you. With this display, we're hitting customers that would never walk through the door of a bicycle shop, and they're getting turned on to the bike. When Mike first put this into the store, uh, we had a lady who was visiting town from Canada. She was shopping here. She saw the flyer, came down to the bike shop on Sunday, picked it up, and took it home with her. If she wouldn't have had the experience of seeing this here, she would have never come in the bike shop. Had she gone to a bike shop, there's 12, 13 bike shops in town. Whether she would have found our bike shop or not, that's a whole other thing too, but this thing really, really works. Getting out to other businesses, it'll help their business, I think, and also helps our business, and we get bikes to people that are really, really going to use them. Yeah.